I'm Bryce Tomlinson from AHeartToWitness.com, and this is Mind Power. I'm going to show you here a way to install ringtones for absolutely free on your Samsung SPH M500 cell phone. First off, you're going to need two programs. One of them is called Audacity, which is a really nice multi-track audio editor. And the other one is called Super, which is a very versatile converter tool that you will use to convert your files. First, go to my website at www.aheart2witness.com forward slash software dot html and we will look at sound right here click on that and if you scroll down a little bit you will find audacity click on that and it will take you to the audacity web page from here on out I'm going to assume that you've downloaded the program and installed it now let's go back to my web page now down here you'll see again the software categories list and you want to click one that would be video click that if you scroll down a little bit on this page click super and it will take you directly to their web page where all the way at the very bottom of this page you want to download the super setup file from here on out I'm going to assume that you've figured out how to install super and I'm going to go right into explaining how to convert your files first thing you need to know is that your files need to be smaller than 512k and they also need to be 30 seconds or less. We're going to go ahead and go to my start menu and use Audacity, which should be in your programs. Go to File, Open, and then down here, I'm going to use Whizball, Music for Star Children. Click Open, and now you should see the waveform opened in your window. Play it to listen to it. We know that in this particular file, the music doesn't really get going until just a few seconds into it. In fact, I figured out that it takes about four seconds to get right into it. You can select it by clicking and dragging, just like that. But as you see, that's more than 30 seconds. You want to get it really exact. I'm going to type in selection start, four seconds. Go right over here to selection end, 34 seconds. So it's exactly 30 seconds. Now up here, you'll see a bunch of icons up here. This one right here is titled trim. That's the one you want. Click that. And now the whole selection is the only part of the file that's left. File, export. And I just recommend save it to your C drive, okay? And we're just gonna rename this file Whizball. All right? Save it out. Now you can close Audacity. Now the next step is to put it through Super. Go to your start menu, click on Super. So up here on the output container, this is what your eventual destination is going to be. So here you wanna select 3G2, which is the format that your cell phone uses for videos. Now here, ironically enough, you're going to disable video because you're just using an MP3 file, right? Now here, you have audio. Select 44K. And I'm gonna recommend that you kinda take it down a notch, maybe even to about 48K per second. We saved our file out to the C drive, right? Go to my computer, go to local disk C, and in this folder, you should find whizball.mp3. Now we're gonna drag and drop that onto Super. Drag it right down here to where you see Super on the taskbar and then pop it up here. Now you can right click anywhere on this window, tell it where you want to save the file by going to the output file saving management. It originally saves right to the C drive and that's what I'm going to do in this example. Now you go down here to where it says encode active files and click on that. Now you'll see it start to do something. This little progress bar. And now it's done. Exit super now. So now back again on C drive, you should see whizball.mp3.3g2. This original mp3 file is 469k. That's almost to our limit. This 3G2 file is 377K, so it's a little smaller. We're going to transfer it to our cell phone. You can open it up if you like. Underneath here, you'll find a little flip latch. Plug that with the arrow side up into your phone. You have your little USB cable that came with your phone. You plug the USB cable into your computer. Now your phone will come up and tell you that it's turned into a modem. Just hit the end button and you don't have to worry about it. On your computer, it'll say, welcome to the found new hardware wizard. Cancel that. Now go to your phone's menu and select tools, mass storage, and connect to PC. The computer has now hooked up a mass storage device. We still have our window open here. We need to rename this WizBall 3G2 file. Right click on the file, click rename, 
and just delete the .mp3 part and hit enter. Right click on the file, click copy, and now minimize this window. Now we'll go back over here to my computer. Down here you should find removable disk. That will be your cell phone. Double click on that. Now you should find in here DCIM. If not, create that folder. Double click. Again, you should have this 100 SSMED file in here. Double click on that. And in here you'll see I've got a whole lot of videos and other content in here. Right click in here and paste. Copy the file. Now you see Whizball 3G2 is on the cell phone. Now on your cell phone, you'll see where it says done. Click that button that's down here below that. Do you want to exit? Yes. And then you can disconnect your cable if you want to. Press end just to get all the way back to the wallpaper. Go to your contacts. I'm going to go down here to DMV Oregon. The phone number, default ringer. Click edit. Go down here to where my videos is. I'm going to go memory card. Over here you'll see the X. For this reason, you probably will not want to put a whole bunch of ringtones on your phone all at one time. Uh, the X is all you will see. There's no file name, um, there is no thumbnail or anything because there's no video attached to it. It's just audio and it doesn't give you a file name to uh, refer to it by. So you want to select that X and it will say saving to phone. Please wait. Click done. Go back down here to that entry and you can test it out. EMV Oregon. Play. And it worked pretty good, didn't it? Now, if you do this over and over again, you'll find that it gets pretty old not being able to find the file. Um, so what I'm going to show you here is that now this ringtone is installed on the DMD organ, right? The first funny trick is to delete the ringtone, and yet it's still going to be there. Watch this. I'm going to take and go back to Tools, Mass Storage, and File Manager. I'm going to the memory card, DCIM, 100 SSMED, and I'm going to take and select the WizBall 3G2 file and erase it. I'm going to go as far as to power my phone all the way off. The thing that I'm going to show you is that now that it's assigned to a ringtone, it's copied it into the phone's memory. It's not actually required to be in the memory card anymore. It can just sit there in the phone's memory being assigned to a ringtone. However, if you were to delete that phone entry or if you were to try to reassign DMV Oregon to some other ringtone, well, that ringtone would be lost forever. We're going to power the phone back on, go back to our contacts, go back to DMV Oregon. Sure enough, the ringtone is still there. Isn't that amazing? We deleted it, didn't we? Well, it's still in the phone's memory. Now, here's the funny thing that I'm going to show you. This is something that I discovered very early on before anybody ever showed me how to use Super to convert anything. I'm going to show you how to do it without converting the file. It's amazing, but it's true. You don't really need to convert it. Let's once again pull up our C drive, and you'll find where it says 3G2, right? We're just going to delete that file. Delete it? Yes. Now, here's the WizBall MP3 file, right? We're going to just rename it and call it whizball.3g2. Yes, we're really just going to trick the phone into thinking it's a ringtone. And guess what? It'll use it. Once again, we're going to hook up our phone, click your menu button, go back to tools, mass storage, connect to PC. Once again, it's going to come up and say found new hardware. This just wants to install the modem drivers, and you don't really need the modem drivers. Let's bring back up the, uh, the C drive. We'll right click on that file click copy and we'll minimize that. Go back over here to my computer to the removable drive, DCIM 100 SSMED, and you'll see here your WizBall file is gone because we deleted it inside the phone. Now we're going to right click and we're going to paste and there it is, that same WizBall 3G2 file, but this is just an MP3 file that we've renamed. So now on your phone, click done. Yes, you want to exit. Unplug your phone from the USB cable. I'm going to select waste management. Now on waste management, you see it's set to default ringer. Go to edit. Go back down to my videos in the memory card and again this is going to only show up as an x but it's still just that mp3 file that we've renamed click on it it's assigned this video to voice call now we go back up to that item in the phone book click on it check it out it plays it you can do this with midi files too it's the same process for doing midi files just rename the file in fact if you go on my website um, you can find an article in my blog at uh, heartswitness.com forward slash blog you will find an article there on how to install MIDI and mp3 ringtones on your cell phone um, and it's simply the same process that I've done just right now okay I'm Bryce Tomlinson from a heart to witness.com